Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're going to do some comedy today, and remember, comedy is the best medicine. Well, unless you're sick, then you know, go see a doctor. Doctor is the best medicine. Medicine would be the best medicine if you're sick. Comedy isn't going to do squat for you. But in the meantime, let's watch uh, some Jim Jeffries. I swear to God, heaven and hell. Uh, watched some of his before he's very funny a little uh, pushing the boundaries and that but uh, he's a very funny guy so well, we're going to uh, take a look at him today and see what he's got to make us laugh I'm not afraid of dying if I do get AIDS or something like that I don't give a fuck I hate life <laughs> I've never enjoyed one moment on this planet <laughs> I don't want to live forever, and the only people who want to live, I'm not worried about dying because I'm an atheist, right? Uh, now, I know that this is a Christian country, and I, I stand up for your right to be religious, but please know that you're wrong, right? <laughs> please know that you're living in a fantasy land, and that after you die, nothing happens, stop being a fucking child. I, like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not scared of dying because I'm an atheist, I know I'll just rot in the ground. Right? I won't even know I'm dead. Do you want to know why? Because I'll be fucking dead. <laughs> Religious people worry because they believe in heaven. If there's a heaven, there has to be a hell. And everyone who's read that book knows that you've done enough shit to go to hell. Right? <laughs> and that makes it very stressful on your deathbed, doesn't it? Knowing what a prick you are, going, ah, oh, this isn't going to be good. No. I, I don't want to go to heaven. I don't, I don't even want the option of heaven. I don't want to exist in a conscious state for the rest of eternity, constantly thinking. I don't like thinking as it is. Where's me passport? Can't punch women in the face. <laughs> eternal bliss. I don't care how blissful it is. It's eternal. You'll get used to it, and then you'll be fucking bored. <laughs> And what's hell meant to be like? Fire and brimstone and eternal agony? That's what's written in the Bible. That's God's book. As far as I know, the devil hasn't brought out a book. <laughs> we don't know his side of the argument, right? If you ask me, the devil and God are having an argument. The devil's being a bigger fucking man. Because God's just writing shit about him. <laughs> and the devil's going, I'm not even going to fucking comment, son, if you talk about me like that. <laughs> let's let's think about this rationally right which isn't a good point for the christians rational thought fire and brimstone and eternal agony that's what's meant to, hell meant to be like that's written in the bible now god runs the entire universe except for one place which is run by hell and the devil <laughs> is run by the devil and now the devil is his biggest enemy and they don't get along whatsoever right now if you act bad you go to hell right now you've lied you've cheated you've stole you've been a prick your entire life why would the devil punish you you're one of his boys he's going that's where all the hookers and drugs are going to be you don't think they're going to make their way into heaven don't think god's going to open the gate and go jim you've been such a good guy see this big titted whore with a line of coconut <laughs> Knock yourself out, son. <laughs> and what's meant to happen when you die and go to heaven? You see a big bright light. You walk towards the light. What's at the end of the light? All your dead relatives. <laughs> well, whoop de fucking do. <laughs> you ever spent a weekend at your grandparents' house? It's fucking shit! <laughs> You'd be out there for an hour going, wish all me friends would die. <laughs> be out there meeting everyone. Hello, Nana. Hello, Grandad. Hello, Uncle who used to touch me. <laughs> How did you get up here? <laughs> oh, that's right. You used to work for the church. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that little groan when I said that? When I said you have to work for the church? It's because religious people are in the crowd and they don't like hearing facts. <laughs> I was in the Catholic Church, it's been on 60 Minutes, fucking fact. But I say and it's like, oh no, no. Because <laughs> religious people will forgive God for fucking anything. 
if he, he, in their mind, he does good things. Rainbows, children's laughter, shit like that, right? But when he does bad things like hurricanes, AIDS, cancer, child molestation, then we just go, oh, well, God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> what type of an excuse is that? What, 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 is, what is mysterious about acting like a fucking asshole? <laughs> that is like the least mysterious activity since the dawn of time. If, if I ever date a religious girl, she's going to come home and I'm going to be raping a mum, right? <laughs> And she's going to look at me and go, what are you doing? And I'm going to go, I'm mysterious. <laughs> I've always been mysterious. <laughs> See, religious people are just fucking stupid. There's how the world is created, which everyone, scientists and rational thinking people believe, and that's the Big Bang Theory, and then evolution kicked in. There's little microorganisms made like a tadpole, and then that tadpole learned how to walk or something. And then there was some animals in between, and then fucking monkeys. Then, then there's how religious people believe it was created, and that's creationism. They believe that uh, God put two white people in the jungle <laughs> without sunscreen, and they fucked, and now we got people. And we got black people, Arab people, Oriental people, and for the amount of inbreeding, very few retards. <laughs> it seems so plausible. <laughs> See, the fact is that there's evolution in the Bible, right? Jesus was four foot seven. Four foot seven. He was a normal sized guy. Everyone was short back then. We're all taller now because of evolution. That's how Jesus could feed the people with two fish. Little fucking people. Big fuck off fish. <laughs> so this is Jesus here, right? He's a little tiny Arab Jew. <laughs> he looks like Super Mario. <laughs> now, if Jesus is this big, that means his cross was maybe, maybe that big. <laughs> Now, I'm not saying I'm better than Jesus. <laughs> but if I was on that little cross, my feet would be on the ground and I'd fucking live. Kill me, I'm way more powerful. <laughs> not only would I live, but I would lift the cross out of the ground and beat up all the little Roman bastards. <laughs> and history would be very different. <laughs> Thousands of years before Jesus, there was a guy called Noah. And Noah built a boat. And Noah lived to be 950 years old. But they never mention that in sermons because we might think it's bullshit. <laughs> and Noah was thousands of years before Jesus, so Noah's about this big. <laughs> There's little Noah with his long hair and his great big beard. He looks like a glorified chess piece. And he built a boat, and they, they put all the animals on the boat. And we had two of each animal, and he lived in, like, like Afghanistan, back when it was a God-loving place. <laughs> and all the animals came, and they all swam there and shit. They all made it there in, like, a week, all the kangaroos and all that type of stuff. Then he worked out some type of refrigeration system to keep the polar bears cold and the lions <laughs> hot. And he made the door on the ark very small so that the dinosaurs couldn't get in because he was... <laughs> then he had storage areas for all their delicate diets because we all know what picky fucking eaters pandas are. <laughs> Aren't pandas a bunch of cunts? <laughs> I'm done with pandas, and I'll tell you why, right? Every fucking living creature loves pandas. The panda doesn't have a natural predator on the planet and they work out because they're fucking dicks. <laughs> Fuck them, let them die out. The pandas don't fuck each other, therefore they don't have babies, therefore we've got no fucking pandas. We're, we're, they're dead weight, let's lose the fucking pandas. <laughs> We've tried, we have fucking tried. We, the human race, put pandas in cages together and try to help them fuck, but they don't... We go, there's a panda, go fuck the panda! <laughs> and they just look at each other! <laughs> you put me in a cage with anything! <laughs> anything! <laughs> and after a week, I'll fuck it! <laughs> <laughs> 
Do you think Pat is too serious? <laughs> now, that's all I'm going to say about Christianity. Uh, to be honest with you, it's just a glorified panda joke. <laughs> so this, this is how comedy works, right? You start with a funny bit and you work backwards. So I start panda and then I go all the way back to small Jesus. Very logical. Uh, <laughs> But I know I'm in America, I know you people love God and all that. Uh, <laughs> so let's pick on a few more religions and make it fair, all right? Jews! <laughs> What's all that about? <laughs> What's with the curly sideburns? <laughs> Where in the Bible to say, if thou loves me, thou shall look like a dick? <laughs> Next religion uh, Isn't Buddha a fat bastard? That's all I've got on Buddha uh, One more Muslims Can you feel that? One word, one fucking word And all your assholes shrunk up and went Oh I'll make a good Australian man, don't fuck this up. Because you think when I say Muslims, I'm about to be racist, don't you? I'm not racist, I'm a bigot. It's completely different. And being Muslim isn't a race. I'm not talking about Arab people. I have no problems with Arab people. I like to eat food late at night. I'm talking about Muslims. I'm not talking about terrorists. Every comic who does a Muslim joke does a terrorist joke. Oh, obviously, most of them aren't terrorists. I'm, I'm talking about the things that we know as shit. The fact that the women have very few rights in their culture. Now, it sounds good in theory, but in a <laughs> modern society, it should be frowned upon. I, I don't think I could be a Muslim because they can't eat bacon or drink beer. And they're like the two greatest fucking things in the world. <laughs> You take bacon and beer away from me and I'll fly a plane into a fucking building. <laughs> All right. Okay, that was Jim Jeffries. I swear to God, uh, heaven and hell. That was very funny. That, that had some good, good funny bits. Uh, and uh, he's a very funny guy. And I hope you enjoyed it. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for coming and uh, have a nice day.